Carly, it is one of our favorites. I can't take credit for this line, but I'm going to use it. Life happens pizza helps isn't that the truth these days well good news tampa bay pizza week is back and we're checking in with one of the fabulous spots that's having fun with them this year jamie how are you doing good how are you guys good good so creative loafing always uh puts this uh week together and, and gets all these pizza places uh to jump on board we love that the nona slice house uh, is part of this as well how are you guys celebrating pizza week jamie well, for Pizza Week, we're offering uh, two slices and a Peroni or a Pat O'Brien's Hurricane for $10 all day, every day. We've got either your choice of the Peroni or we've got an authentic Pat O'Brien's uh, Hurricane with two slices all day, every day, 10 bucks. Jamie, we were talking before you got started. You think of like, you know, Italian pizza. You think, you know, Nona Slice House. But then I'm seeing a Detroit shirt. You're talking about New Orleans <laughs> with the hurricane. You got it all going on there. And right now, part of what you have going on is your, some of the proceeds from Tampa Bay Pizza Week are going to Metropolitan Ministries. Explain yep. your concept and why being a part of really many communities in your case is so important. Oh my gosh, especially at this time, giving back to the community. I mean, we definitely um, we, we definitely like to give back to our, our community here in Safety Harbor, but everybody's had such a tough year over the last year, and uh, anything you can do to kind of help people out. I mean, people have helped us get through hard times last year, and there's just no reason not to not to do your part to give back as well. So, I mean, we're, we definitely we jumped on board with Creative Loafing um, to, so, and, and to celebrate pizza, too, because that's really what we do all day, every day here at the Nona. Yeah, we want to make sure Creative Loafing, uh, obviously, we're going to be showing their website, and uh, but they have it kind of all outlined. And, and again, a, a lot of different pizza places uh, getting involved, putting these specials together. But tell us a little bit about, first, you got to explain the name, because we all assumed yeah. it was after Grandma, which it might be a little, <laughs> little true as well. But explain the name and then explain what your specialty is there, because Natalie and I know a lot about pizza. Our first jobs were in pizza, but we are still learning from you this morning. I'm impressed. Oh. Okay, the, the basic concept here is we, you know, we celebrate pizza, so we have three different styles of pizza. We offer your, your classic New York-style hand-tossed um, pizza. We do an old-world style, which is like a little bit thinner, um, almost like a neo-neapolitan-style pizza with fresh mozzarella and San Marzano tomatoes. Uh, we have, like, it, basically the base of that is my pizza margarita, which I won best pizza in the country in 2011 with. And then the one that's just kind of all the rage right now is our Detroit-style pan pizza. And that's a, that's a very meticulously proofed and, and fermented uh, three-day dough process. It's cooked in a blue steel pan, uh, and it's got a Wisconsin uh, white cheddar brick crust around the edge. And that's the one you can see right here on my T-shirt, Detroit <laughs> Tuesdays. We offer that by the slice every Tuesday. We offer it all the time, but by the slice, we offer it on Tuesday. So that's, that's the day to get down here for sure. So, Jamie, this is the first time you've been involved with Pizza Week, so I want to get your thoughts on why. But, by the way, I don't mean to say we buried the lead. I think we need to maybe add a little graphic below you because what are you, the world pizza spinning champ? How have we not introduced you like that? That is only seems fitting to have you involved with Pizza Week. I don't know. You should talk to the management over there or something. <laughs> uh, no, I... You know, I've, I've been competing in uh, national, international competitions for about, I guess, 15 years now. Um, and I've, you know, I've won all kinds of, all kinds of awards in all, in all kinds of categories. But in 2016, I, I was in Parma, Italy for the World Pizza Championship, which I go to almost every year. And I ended up winning the gold medal uh, in freestyle pizza acrobatics, which is kind of, you know, funky if you don't know what it is. But it's essentially, you can kind of think of it as like, um like flair bartending but with pizza dough um <laughs> and, and so uh you know i competed in that for about 12 years nationally oh, wow. then i went over internationally i took second place in 2014 and 15 and uh, in 2016 i was i was able to win the world championship that's awesome are your kids now are you think they'll be able to continue the line because that's a, back to the name of your place right that's for your kids yeah i'm not sure you know the name the place is named after my kids noah and naomi so it's N O N A for Noah Naomi. Um, you know they they just inspire me every day, uh, as most people's kids do. I don't know if they'll get into pizza or not. They're ten and eleven or ten and twelve, and I've got them now coming in busting tables and folding <laughs> pizza boxes and stuff like that. And, and they're liking it, but mostly, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's like, uh, hey, Dad, how much money did you make for doing that? <laughs> I'm not I'm not 
not sure if it's the passion or the uh, or the couple of dollars I give them. Have a big legacy uh, though to continue on. I hope they do. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, they're not quite there yet, but you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Well, one of the things we love about Pizza Week, of course, you have all the specials. They're all typically under $10, which there's the website for you to go. There's also an Instagram contest for you to take pictures, hashtag Tampa Bay Pizza Week. I'm just going to go out on a limb, Carly. West Shore took the crown last year in 2020. Uh Okay. I'm feeling I'm feeling good. First time entry there with the Nona Slice House. I'm going with Jamie. I'm going with Jamie. Vote for the Nona. <laughs> Both for the Nona. <laughs> for sure. Hey, real quick, we have 30 seconds left. Can you, there's a, I love the names that you have of these pizzas. In yes. with this Bee's Knees pizza, where there's actually honey on this Can pizza. Can you show that again? Yeah, check this out. So this is our Bee's Knees pizza. It's our Detroit style pan. You can see the Wisconsin brick cheddar crust around the edge. We take that, we finish that with some prosciutto de parma. Right on top when it comes out of the oven. And then on top of that, we're going to put a little fresh arugula on there. A little oh, bit of a, a little bit of shaved Parmesan. And then the kicker here is a friend of mine has a farm locally here and uh, she raises her own bees, produces her own peppers. It's called fire in the hive, hot honey. Oh, and we just drizzle a little bit of that right on top like that. I think that's brilliant. Oh, and this, this pizza will knock your socks off. This is one of our best pizzas by far. Wow. I am not surprised. Jamie, what a treat to have you yeah. joining us this morning. We love your story. Sure. Love the legacy uh, that you're, you're you know, putting rooted here now in uh, the Bay Area. Such a treat. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you for having, all, having me on. And good luck. Have a Thank wonderful you. Tampa Bay week. Get involved, <laughs> everybody.